Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Today, we're talking about a problem that can cause a lot of pain, peripheral arterial disease. Joining us this morning is Dr. Nicholas Moat. Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. All right, so that was a very complicated term I just threw out there. Tell us a little bit about peripheral arterial disease. Well, peripheral arterial disease refers to basically blockages in the extremities, in your arms and legs. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very common, particularly in patients or people as they're getting older. Mm -hmm. So do you mentioned people when they're older, they get this sort of thing, but can anyone get this? Anyone can get it, but as the American population is getting uh, older, uh, around uh, 20 to 40 percent of people over the age of 55 have some sort of peripheral arterial disease. Now, okay. whether or not it's clinically relevant is a different story, but mm -hmm. um, it is relatively very common. Okay, so can this disease be a sign of other cardiovascular issues? Well, well that's the biggest issue here, is that patients that have peripheral arterial disease tends to be a marker for more central disease such as coronary disease or heart problems okay. or cerebrovascular disease or carotid problems which can cause either heart attacks or strokes. So it is a good indicator of, may, of other issues that may it is. occur. Okay, awesome. So should everyone with leg pain get checked out? Uh, yes and no. Okay. I think as you're getting older, <laughs> if you have difficulty with leg pain, mm -hmm. primarily if it occurs all the time when you walk and it goes away when you stop, at least I think it's a good idea to get checked out. Yeah. But whether or not something has to happen, that's a different story. I know, because I'm definitely one of those people that I get very freaky <laughs> and I get nervous when I hear, I just feel one generic pain. All right, so with this disease, do you offer screening programs for this disease? Well, uh, at McLaren, we do. We're very aggressive about this. We have a lot of free screenings that we do for the community, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, formal screening programs as well. So if they contact us, we'll be happy to check it out for them. Okay, so you have that access available for anyone who maybe needs a program, for anyone who wants, needs help. They can get checked out with you guys. That's Abs awesome. A absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much for all of this great information on peripheral arterial disease. Did I say it right? You did. Okay, I just said it right. Awesome. <laughs> if you want to know more about this, you can check out the Aging Style page on our website, WNEM.com.